move from fine dining to a more casual approach where we do not have to leave the dog at home. Landon Wexler takes us to your new favorite place that serves you and your pup. Dog lovers know that pups are part of the family. So what's a family dinner without our fluffy companions? Here at Lazy Dog, everyone, even those of us walking on all fours, get top dog treatment. Biggest focus is on hospitality and serving amazing handcrafted food. So when you come to Lazy Dog, we want it to feel like you know you're visiting a small town in the mountains. The concept came from the time that Chris Sims spent uh, with his family in the mountains. He took their dogs with them everywhere, and so he wanted to create a place where people could go and eat, where dogs were you know welcome. Dogs are part of the family, right? That's I think the way that most people feel about you know about their dogs, and so we want to treat the dogs with the same level of care and hospitality that uh, we show the guests when they, when they come in. Dog experience at Lazy Dog, we offer them a, every pup a bowl of water and then we have a menu uh, available just for dogs. If you want, you can order made to order, cooked in the you know same kitchen as we cook your food. Uh, you know, it's a burger patty or a choice of grilled chicken and then it's served with your choice of white or brown rice and then some vegetables as well. You get served some really incredible made from scratch food that you know is on the menu, a little bit of everything, uh, choice for anybody really. A chicken katsu sando, which is amazing. A super crispy chicken cutlet served on some traditional, very soft, tender milk bread. Uh, my personal favorite is the uh, barbecue bison meatloaf. Uh, it's wrapped in bacon, crispy, slathered with barbecue sauce. Uh, we source our bison from Durham Ranch in Wyoming. Uh, up in Jackson Hole where the kind of concept for Lazy Dog started. Also got incredible crispy deviled eggs, which are amazing. We batter them with uh, panko breadcrumbs and then it gets the absolutely incredible filling, little mayonnaise, little mustard, little hot sauce. Um, it's served with a little bit of piece of uh, uh, candied bacon on top. If you've got a uh, you know hankering for a salad, our southern fried chicken salad is amazing, served with a little bit of uh, Nashville hot sauce. We've got a new lumberjack pancake tacos that we serve at brunch that's awesome. We have a full bar program, um, lots of handmade specialty cocktails. We make all of our batches from scratch. Watermelon margarita, amazing. Uh, we make our watermelon puree from scratch in-house from fresh watermelons. And then also we uh, have a new offering called the Lillet Lemonade. Super crisp, refreshing, uh, light, great drink for the summertime. And then desserts, uh, the huckleberry uh, apple hand pie, open face with a little bit of vanilla ice cream on top is absolutely amazing. And then, you know, you'd be remiss to not try the banana pudding uh, made from scratch as well. The patio, obviously, when we welcome you know our pups in, the, you know the patio is where we uh, you know we offer the meals and whatnot. It's super inviting. You know the expectation is that you're going to get the same level of experience outside as you do inside. You get the same uh, finishes. You get the natural wood. You get the stone fire pit. You know the nice comfortable chairs. Um, you know the landscaping around the restaurant also is made to make you feel like you're out you know in Wyoming somewhere. We're open for lunch, dinner, and then weekend brunch patio uh, on the weekends is absolutely packed uh, you know for guests coming in to bring their pups and have uh, have breakfast with these doggy bowls these handcrafted dishes and drinks it's pretty hard to leave this place without your tummy full and your tail wagging if you want to learn more about taking a trip to lazy dog we've got all the information you'll need on cw33.com